Hey guys, Fox here. Just wanted to film a quick video here about a couple of different things. Um, uh, showing a little earthbound here. I'm gonna be playing through it. It's been uh, kind of like 15 years since I played through it, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Uh, but uh, while I was on a trip here, I played a few uh, more started a couple of PS Vita games as I was felt my Vita has been quite neglected and there's been a bunch of titles I wanted to play so I grabbed a couple dungeon crawlers to give a sh give a playthrough and uh, one of them this is Ray Gigan this is the Japanese version uh, but they released a English translated version on the PlayStation Store to play um, and it was fairly cheap, especially if you had PlayStation Plus, so I think it was like 12 bucks, so it wasn't bad. Um, it's a fun little dungeon crawler. Uh, not a whole lot to it. The story is kind of, you know, meh. Um, but the characters are fairly interesting, uh, especially the uh, main character, which is this guy here in the red. Um, sorry, you have to forgive me on the names. It's been a while since I've dived back into them because I've pretty much determined that these just really aren't my style or I'm just not in the mood to play these type of RPGs right now so um, the battle systems are f fairly fun I love the artwork and I like the uh, animations Let's see if we can focus there there's a battle right down there the, there's these really cool battle animations uh, in this game where the characters are just very fluently moving and the great artwork of the uh, monsters and enemies and whatnot um, but fairly simplistic um, and then I honestly I only put a few hours into this I also put a few hours into Stranger of Sword City which I strangely realized that this is practically the same fucking game um, the, uh, the battles are really the same I just they the way they present them they just show like character portraits instead of like uh, the uh, character battle animation uh, but uh, it's pretty much the same battle system it's like the same game just slightly different story really um, so I couldn't really tell you which one I like better because I just didn't get far enough in either of them but wanted to talk about them a little bit uh, what are your guys thoughts on these games if any of you have actually played Ray, Ray Gigan or not I know quite a few have played Stranger Sword City um, should I give these another shot should I continue on with them a little bit farther I can uh, I mean I'll probably continue them on the PSTV which needs some love as well speaking of the Vita I picked up the new Shire and the Wanderer the Tower of Fortune and the Dice of Fate <laughs> love the fucking artwork on this this is this is a fantastic cover um, I'm pretty sure uh, Crack Lotus has been playing through this. He is a big Shiren fan. Uh, this is my first Shiren the Wanderer game. I never find the other games. I think there's what a Wii one and a DS. I could be wrong on that, guys. Uh, always wanted to try them, so this popped up on Amazon on my suggested list for a while, and it's pretty fucking cheap. It was like thirty dollars. So you know, if you had Prime, it was like twenty four, twenty three bucks. So, it looks pretty interesting. It looks very, uh, 16-bit style art here, which is cool. I can dig it. Um, I'm going to give this one a shot. So, yeah, you guys let me know. Should I continue one of those uh, dungeon crawlers, or should I go into Shire and the Wanderer here? Um, also got a new video games monthly pretty interesting box here um, of course they give you some swag crap there throw out this plastic all right we have quest for Camelot on the uh, Game Boy Color in the original Game Boy I think I remember this movie as a kid so it's a movie title. Give me Fortified Zone, Jalico game. 
I'm gonna have to give this one a shot. I'm very curious. Uh, I don't mind the Jalico games, and uh, this looks like it might be some type of run and gun game. I'll have to give that one a definite go. Uh, Sonic Spinball, which I already have, which I'm pretty sure I told them I had this game, so this might have been a, an oopsie. I might have to give them an email, tell them they sent me a game I already fucking had. Uh, they're usually pretty good about responding to that. And here's the big one, is they hooked me up with a sealed copy of Space Channel 5, with a lenticular uh, cover. So... That's pretty cool, and what's, what's awesome is I actually don't own a copy of Space Channel 5, so... Uh, this really pleased me. I was happy to see this in the box. I know this game isn't worth a terribly large amount of money, but... Uh, I think it's nice that they uh, actually have sealed games that they'll give away, so... Pretty cool little box. Uh, nothing super fantastic like the one time where I got a uh, the Double Dragon 2 for the NES. That was a good one, but uh, yeah, so anyways guys just wanted a quick short video to show you um, The few things that I got here And to talk about the Vita and a few games that I enjoy there, so anyways guys Thanks for watching